My name is Dina Craighead. I am the Curator of Art here at PPHM and I have been working on an exhibition of the work of Gisela Loeffler. Now, Gisela Loeffler was originally from Austria and when she was a young child, she moved to St. Louis and eventually settled in Taos and was an artist in the Taos artist colony in the early to mid part of the 20th century. Now, one of the interesting things about Loeffler's work is that she left a substantial amount of correspondence, which isn't unusual for an artist. A lot of artists will leave journals and letters but what is unusual about Loeffler's letters and the correspondence that we have in our research center is that her letters are beautifully illustrated. She doesn't just sit down and write or type out letters. She uses colored pencil and crayon and she draws these beautiful pictures in them. And they're very much in the aesthetic of her larger body of work. So she is kind of pulling from what she sees every day, using them in these illustrations to write letters to her friends and business acquaintances and different people, and then she translates those into more finished works of art. We do have some letters that are kind of specific to our region. So we have a letter that talks about a lecture that she gave here at Panhandle Plains several decades ago. It also talks about going to Lubbock to the quote unquote museum of the technological college there. And uh, this letter has this charming intro. So it's all, most of her letters start with a lot of verbosities. She'll say, hello, 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 or ole, ole, or some sort of greeting of that sort. And then this continues on with charming little drawing of a little Austrian folk girl and a small little lamb or some sort of other um, kind of herd animal. Colorful blue skirt, flowers, polka dots on the animal, curly ringlets, a flower crown, really beautiful, lovely, juvenile, but yet charming and whimsical illustrations. 